Welcome back to uh, Hashtag Entrepreneurship Tuesday on Why in the Morning at Y254 Channel is where you can find us across all our social media platform. At Michelle Ashira is where you can reach out to me. And uh, in this particular session, we have another interview. And we talk about matters pertaining uh, to uh, and travel. So not forgetting that tourism in Kenya uh, is the second largest source of foreign exchange uh, revenue following agriculture. So joining me in studio, I have uh, a team of two <laughs> from, listen to this, Mufasa Tour and Travels. They'll be telling us more about that name. Uh, we have uh, Joseph uh, Wakamba, who is the CEO. And then uh, we ha also have uh, Lewis Muga, who is the co who is also a co-founder uh, to Mufasa Tour and Travel. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for creating time to be with us. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Louis is very much composed. Uh, you look dashing, by the way. Thank you very much. <laughs> How are you guys? We are fine, thank you. All right. Yeah. So, starting us off, yeah? Mm -hmm. I would like to find out uh, who is uh, Louis uh, Mugo before, 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 before Mufasa mm -hmm. turn travel happened. Uh, Louis, a uh, humble person, <laughs> born in Kifanyaga. Uh, studied finance. Oh, that's my hometown, by the way. Uh -huh. <laughs> we'll interact later. <laughs> <laughs> studied finance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then now Mufasa happened. Okay. Yes. What about, what about you, Joseph? Uh, I'm Joseph. I'm from Kembo. Mm -hmm. uh, I studied real estate in the University of Nairobi. Mm -hmm. So I'm an economics person. Okay. But decided to venture into the tourism industry mm -hmm. because it was a passion that I was in me and is what I love to do all the time. Right. And yeah. when did that happen? Uh, I started Mufasa back in the year 2013. Mm -hmm. uh, I was still in university. So it's when I started engaging my classmates into going for trips and yeah, and it started from there. But before that I used to love traveling. My parents used to mm -hmm. take me around. I've traveled to so many destinations so mm -hmm. when I got into the tourism industry it was not a very big deal to maneuver my way around mm -hmm. traveling. So I could advise clients how to travel to different destinations and uh, that's why I brought my friend on board. Mm -hmm. I told him uh, because we are young people and we are still young so it's the time we have to make the move mm -hmm. before we become adults. Okay. So that's when we started all this. Yeah, And now it's a very big thing and it's working well for us. Right. Yeah. Since 2013, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, Lewis, at what point did you feel or rather be confident that, you know, I'm going to jump into the wagon of uh, studying a train travel, of just be part of the first train travel? Uh, I used to see my friend here traveling all the time and I asked him, how comes you're always traveling and you're in school? Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. So that's when he met up, told me this is what I do. He was dealing with Chinese uh, back then, so that is when we decided let's push it to another level. All right. Mm. All right. So for my viewers and I, might have a, a, a little bit of a clue, <laughs> an idea <laughs> of uh, uh, the name Mufasa, you know, uh, but it's not in our place. It is not our story. Absolutely not. So. Uh, I'll do you guys the orders. <laughs> it yeah. is your story. So, mm. how did you guys come up with the uh, with the name and uh, and why? So, Mufasa, uh, I was a very when I was young, cartoon was my. I used to like watching cartoons and all this. Mm -hmm. And uh, my dad brought me a CD because I had asked for. I had told him to bring me a, a, a cartoon CD that I could watch. So coincidentally, he brought me the Lion King uh, CD. Mm -hmm. So from that day, I think I just got very interested in the name character Mufasa. Mm -hmm. So how he played the character role in the movie, how he ended up dying. So it became very motivating to me. And also when I came up with the name, I think that's the name that came to my head the first thing. Mm -hmm. And then uh, being Mufasa is, uh, you're, you're, you're the boss. The king. You're the king. Mm -hmm. So everyone follows what you say and what you do. Okay. Yeah, correct. Uh, the tour and travel company, uh, uh, do you guys have employees in the FIAS? Uh, what's, what's the number of the team that you guys have on board? Uh, we currently have seven employees. Okay. Yes. 
Mm. And uh, during this time of the pandemic, you know, not much is going on, into, especially into the hospitality industry. Mm -hmm. uh, how has the business been for you guys? Actually, the industry, this is the second hit, the second worst hit. We were just talking earlier on uh, Lewis, and my question is, uh, what did you study in school that has actually helped or propelled the Mufasa to travel, in one way or the other? Uh, as I said earlier, I did finance. Okay. And I think, I don't think you'd run a business without looking at your finances. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, so that is a major point for me. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And uh, back to you, uh, Joseph. And uh, you started this company from way back in 2013. And looking back uh, from where you started to right now, what are some of the things that you, uh, from where you're seated, looking back, some of the achievements, and you sit back and be like, wow, no, I don't regret doing this. Okay, some of the achievements that we have achieved uh, since 2013 is we have been able to collaborate with many, many organizations mm -hmm. and uh, which have become successful. Mm -hmm. We have uh, collaborated with international farms, uh, local farms also. We have also taken out uh, initiatives to do trips to very many locations mm -hmm. that so many other companies that have not done. So I count those as achievements on our end because uh, they have been successful mm -hmm. and uh, there are things that people can look and say, wow. Okay. Yeah. All right. There's, there's so many tour and travel companies uh, in Kenya. What makes uh, Mufasa tour travel different? Mm, it's a customer service because that's what brings back a customer. Because the client will want to enjoy what the service they got on the previous trip or holiday vacation and such. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, allow me to take you back, uh, yes. <laughs> just yeah. to uh, 2013. Mm. Yes, uh, when starting up, when starting the company, what was your initial capital, and how did you raise the funds to start the business? Okay, I started with a capital of about 20 to 30 thousand shillings. Mm -hmm. uh, that was I was in about, I was in my second second I was in my third year mm -hmm. in the University of Nairobi, mm -hmm. and. Uh, I planned a small trip for my friends to visit a, a location that I had mentioned to them. So one, I, had, I needed to show them that it's something that I'm willing to do. So at first I, did, I, I couldn't first even charge them. I had to give them a highlight of how it is. So this was, I had to remove money from my own pocket. Then I take them out and then so that they can see how my idea is. And then after we did the first one, the second one, then the third one on and on, it became a hit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but in terms of capital, Cross and Travel doesn't have a specific time of uh, amount of capital, but as little as you can helps you to keep your, to start. Yeah. Mm, did you get your money back? Uh, you invested in the business? Yeah, today I can say my money came back, mm -hmm. but uh, with time you come on spending a lot of money, but uh, with time it comes to come back, because the more you advertise, the more you take people to different places, the money keeps on coming back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Lewis, for someone who is watching this and they would love to be, uh, to start up a uh, twin travel company, and they don't have the amount uh, that just started off with, what would be your advice when it comes to raising the funds? Uh, you definitely have a support group, you have your friends who will hold your hand. As he said, he had to remove money from his pocket, right? But there are also friends who are willing to pay for that trip on Aquambia. So that we go to that destination of choice. So it's not as hard, I would say. You just need loyal friends, your family as well. They'll help you out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so international flights kicked mm -hmm. off, uh, kicked off on first of all. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, some Kenyans have traveled to see family, other business. Mm -hmm. Some of them just vacation. Yeah. And uh, I have a couple of friends mm -hmm. who have always asked this question. Mm -hmm. Why does one need a travel agent when it comes to, if, if you guys have one, mm -hmm. do you? Yes. Okay. Why does one need a travel agent when it comes to booking maybe hotels or even flights? Uh, so this is how we look at it with my friends. Like, uh, it's quite cheaper if I'm going to book for myself or maybe on a hotel, yeah. uh, for a hotel or even maybe the flight. So 
why do I need a flight? Or why do I need a travel agent? Okay, the advice I'd give many people. Many people when they check, uh, when they book for themselves, they find it cheap. I can say it's cheap to book for yourself everything. But uh, on, in terms of convenience, it's a struggle because uh, if you're booking your flight, sometimes uh, flights are very, they're, they're subject to availability. You need that person who, if anything comes up, you need to call. This person is responsible for that flight. This person is responsible for the destination you're going to. When it comes to the hotel booking, you need a travel agent who keeps on checking whether the rooms are available for you, which type of room you'll take, which type of food they'll serve you. So the good thing about the travel agent is that they bring all things, all these things together. So for you, it's just to pay and enjoy the service that you have paid for. So uh, instead of you booking, the, the, for instance, if you book for yourself a flight, every day you have to keep on checking whether the flight is still on. If you book for yourself a hotel, maybe in Dubai, maybe in Mombasa, maybe in Masai Mara, you have to keep on checking whether the room is still there. If you book for yourself a transport, you have to always check whether the transport is there. This is a lot of hassle for a common person. Maybe uh, you are working, you have to keep on checking, you have a family, you need to check back. So you are adding for yourself a burden, which someone who has studied the profession can make it very easy for you. Mm -hmm. Because if you pay me the money for going to Dubai, I'll handle the ticket, I'll handle the visa, I'll handle the hotel, I'll handle your activities in Dubai. So for you, it's just to come and pay, and for you, just to relax. Mm -hmm. And the travel agent advises you. Maybe now in times of COVID, there are places which are very hit hardly because of the spread of the coronavirus. I would advise you, if you are going to a specific destination, not to go, because there is something that you may not find fit for you in that specific place. We have some hotels which, in the internet, they are very good. They have very good pictures. But in terms of service, it's out i cannot recommend so the good thing about a travel agent they advise you advice which goes a long way because you save a lot of money if something bad happens to you and you never book to a travel agent you have no one to come back to but through a travel agent you can come back and tell me joseph no this hotel was this way and this way and this way so my next client i'll advise them not to go to a specific place all right yeah so uh, a travel agent looks uh in detail yeah all rounded yeah. so they got your back correct i advise so many of my clients mostly when they are going to many destinations i tell them this hotel looks very good on the internet but based on our previous clients who booked stay there they were not happy because either in terms of food maybe in terms of the convenience from the airport from the destination so a travel agent makes your life very easy oh. yeah and also gets you discounts maybe when the hotel has discounts okay yeah correct Lewis, uh, <laughs> is your question answered? <laughs> <laughs> Very much answered, totally. Now I know I have, uh, uh, my friends will watch this on YouTube, right? Uh, try to find for channel. Now you have your answer why you need a travel agent. Uh, going back to you, Lewis, mm -hmm. let's check out the packages that Mufasa to travel have for us. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so we have holiday vacations, we have uh, tours. You don't whisper like that. We want to hear them. Hey. <laughs> Then. We have the holiday vacations, like let's see if you want to go to the the coast, okay. that's what we call the vacations. Now if you want to go to the bush, mm -hmm. that's what we call the safaris, mm -hmm. or that's how the non-residents call them. Yeah, we do flights, international packages, mm -hmm. and you also do the non-residents, foreigners, okay. yes. So what is available right now? We uh, I know we can go to Mombasa, that I'm so sure. <laughs> 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 now that everything has okay. opened up. Okay, so there is moving, so people can now go to Mombasa, okay. Masai Mara, okay. Dubai. Yeah, all these open air spaces are open now. Okay, yeah. nice. So how do you market this particular business? Uh, we normally market through our social media platforms, mm -hmm. uh, through our Facebook page, through our Twitter handles, through our Instagram pages. Unfortunately, uh, well, yesterday someone tried to hack through our Instagram page, so at the moment it's not live. Mm -hmm. But we are trying to work through our way through it. Mm -hmm. So you, if you want to check, you can check us through our Facebook page, Mufasa Travels, Twitter handles, Mufasa Travels also. And you'll find all these packages there. Okay. And they are very affordable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and what we put there is what is there. Is there nothing that is false. <laughs> If you want to make a clarification, just give us a call. Oh, it's a situation where we order something and then it comes different. Yeah. <laughs> no, you don't order one, then we give you water. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, so in the year 2019, what would you uh, say uh, the average number of uh, clients that you, you guys got to handle? Let's go to 2019, 20, nothing much has happened. 2019, uh, on average, I can say we took about, uh, it was around 5,000 to 6,000 guests the whole year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was the average number that we got in the whole of 2019. Okay. Yeah. What are some of the challenges that uh, you guys face? Mm -hmm. First of all, some clients who are not understanding. Anakwambia hivi, kesho anakwambia hivi, ama you booked a flight, anakwambia, no, this is not what I said. Ama I want to cancel and I want a full refund. Mm -hmm. You get, now you start. How does that work, by the way? Now, we usually have our uh, terms and conditions as well to secure us as, <laughs> as a company as well. So if you cancel, you just mm -hmm. have to like go mm -hmm. through the cancellation policy. Yes, which you know what shock, but yeah. Uh, have you ever, uh, guys planned uh, probably for any tour and you got surprises along the way? If yes, <laughs> I'd like to hear that story. <laughs> yeah, sometimes we have so many challenges. Mm -hmm. We book flights and then uh, maybe what you had uh, told the guests then uh, something happened. You know, the world, the currency fluctuations sometimes is a challenge. So maybe what you are told a client going to Dubai maybe is about uh, 70,000. Mm -hmm. Then tomorrow something happens in the stock exchange and the dollar changes. So the flight is affected, so it increases. So once it increases, uh, you can't go back to the client and tell them to add money. You have just to go with what you had provided. Mm -hmm. So it's yourself to maneuver through your through way through it to see how best you can handle the situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it happens a lot. Mostly for the flights because of uh, changing in the currency and it affects a lot, but we try ourselves our best to maneuver our way through it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but in camp to hotels, we normally have like uh, the rates we have with the hotels. Mm -hmm. So it's normally safe for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, with the pandemic, the global pandemic, uh, which has really hit the tour, to a tourism uh, industry very hard. Uh, what's the future of uh, tour and travels uh, post COVID 19? Well, we are living the new normal. What will be the future like when it comes to tour and travel? I can say uh, if you are in the year 2010, 2008, when we had the clashes, uh, if you had maneuvered your way through that, I think this one also you will also be able to maneuver through it because. This is also a very big challenge because traveling has become uh, a very big challenge to many people and it has fear because many people don't want to travel to the destination, maybe your marketing. Mm -hmm. And uh, we want to tell our guests that these destinations are very safe. We have gone through, to like last week we were in Masai Mara, we checked all the hotels, mm -hmm. we checked all the protocols, whether they have been observed, whether they have licenses, and I can confirm that these destinations are very safe. And the places that we are advertising means that they are safe. A place that we are not advertising means that the place is very risky for guests to go now. Though we normally advise the clients when they come to book. Oh. Yeah. Uh, looking back mm -hmm. and uh, also including the challenges that you guys have faced, do you have any regrets? Mm, personally, I have no regrets in mm -hmm. doing this. Mm -hmm. But uh, just keep pushing myself. I know we can do better every day is a, is a new day for new opportunities that arise mm -hmm. i'm sure we'll go to greater heights mm -hmm. yeah okay, okay ladies okay <laughs> 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 what's the projection what's the company projection uh, what's the future of uh, mufasa to and travel uh, i don't want to give you a specific time frame but yeah what's, what's the vision like yeah you know when you have, when you have a company you have to have objectives mm -hmm. and uh, our goal is in the next uh, five years. We don't want it to become a very short term goal, we want to become a long term goal. Mm -hmm. In the next like five years we want to be the lead, uh, one of the the best in Africa, not only in Kenya, but the best in Africa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, providing the best services, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. What's your advice to young people who are watching this and they want to start a business? It could be in different uh, industry, mm -hmm. I could be in two and travels. What would be your advice for someone who wants to start a business? Right now? Okay, businesses are varied mm -hmm. and uh, I would advise the people in our generation, the young generation, nothing is easy. Everything comes through hard work. You have to put determination, resilience, consistency in everything that you're doing. So don't give up, 
no matter how small the business is, you just start. The first thing you should do when you're starting a business is to kick off. Once you start, no matter if you don't have an office, whether it's mobile, just start. With the one client you have, the two, give them the best service. Service, the moment you give someone good service, the person will always comes back. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You have something to add Yeah, it's a passion. Because without passion, I don't think you can do anything. We normally get problems, but if you come to the office, you'll find us laughing. We laugh it <laughs> off. <laughs> And because you know we'll still get through it because it's not the end. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. It sounds like that was a, that was a common. There's something <laughs> going on. <laughs> <laughs> Problem going on. No, no, no. Left it on the end. Mm -hmm. I probably could give out your social media handles and how people can reach out to you uh, for the uh, conversation or even mm -hmm. uh, being part of Mufasa Joint Travel. Okay, if you want to come get us, you can get us through our Instagram page. So it's not live, but it will be live by the end of the day again. Okay. Uh, you can contact us through our emails, info at mufasatravels.com. You can get our contacts also on our website. Our website has all the details that you may require. So all those platforms you can be able to get us. Yeah. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for creating time to be with us. Santa, uh, Santa. Thank you. Uh, I think now we're ready to travel. I'll just call my friends. <laughs> <and> the, <time. laughs> the airspace so is open. <laughs> yeah, airspace is open. Anyone can travel anywhere, mm -hmm. but we'll advise. All right. Yeah. Okay, guys, remember back at home, uh, you can follow us across our social media platform. That is at y 2 channel at Michelle Ashira is where you can find me. Uh, make sure you don't touch that. I'll be coming up with another interview for now. Enjoy uh, a good music, and then we'll be right back.